Hey guys, so, welcome back. And um, this is our second tutorial. Room decor. Again. First, room decor. It's just a whole pie chart. It's so, great for making anything you like and the message you want to convey in like two three, three words and things you require are listed uh, so you just gotta hole punch the number of probably I mean, needed hole punched craft paper it's that colorful yeah you can do one color or four colors if you draw a heart you can do any shape yeah as i wrote down well you see me struggling And now the message we want to deliver, and if you want a tutorial on hand lettering, we'll do it soon. So the next to craft is actually my favorite, one of the favorites. It just lightened up the room, which is an arrow. Arrow sign. You can keep it anywhere. It, it looks really good. And you can make it even better looking if you have more popsicle sticks, which we lagged, and that's why we had to use paperboard uh, in the arrow for the triangle top. We don't know what it's called. That's why we use paperboard for the other thing. Like other For stick. joining the two. So both of the green and orange were divided in half. Now we're just gluing all the pieces together with hot glue. You can use any glue that you think will glue the wood. We just use hot glue. It's because really handy. I mean, if you have the time for reading, you can. Now it's on. Craft, craft paper. Yeah, custom craft paper. You can use it paper. as wrapping paper, anything. I like, love this one. It's so simple, so easy. Wish I knew it before. So, use a Ziploc bag or anything. We use a Ziploc because our design was quite simple and small. We made a lemon, we didn't like it, so we never used, used it. This is a watermelon. We put white seeds, but because we in the end we put white seeds because our red watermelon was too dark and black would actually darken it, and we used white. And but it made it look show. like a strawberry with watermelon head of the green stuff. But yeah, I it's guess okay. you got it. Okay, you can have your own touches. And now you're just painting. You can use any applicator, we just use, use the sponge paint. because it'll evenly cover the surface as we want it to. This is our fourth one and foremost, the beautiful most looking one. Yeah, I don't turn out, I think it's gonna turn out like this. You know, it's simple. And uh, you can any write out word. any word you like, like you can write hope, you can write growth, you can write anything. We, we were relaxed because cause that's the most suited word for us people who are lazy. So make it colored Look fancy. how you want. And we use stripes, you can do anything. And we use, as you saw, we did alternating stripes, vertical and horizontal. Which looked good. And behind it, we stuck uh, sponges. For weight. Uh, not only weight, you, I don't know what. Uh, to get a 3D effect that it's not so it stands on the out wall. on the wall. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's stuck. You to can the stick wall. cardboard. Uh, you can stick double-sided tape. Anything you would like. It's your wish. Or you could stick it anywhere else. Bye guys. Like, share, and give subscribe. it a like if you like.